Welcome. Good to have you. Thank you very much. It's a nice open. Thank you. Very nice open. Nice way to close out the year. Talk about um, where you are in terms of the model and what it's levered to. Is it small business creation or is it uh, the, the, the increase in size of existing businesses? So we focus on really helping the small, medium-sized businesses get rid of the mess that runs their back office. I'm a serial entrepreneur. My parents and grandparents are serial entrepreneurs. And <clears throat> I lived that mess, right? My first company, I lived it. And so I felt it. And so what we do, there's 6 million businesses in the U.S. that have employees. Uh, we target all of them at the last 20,000, the ones over 100 million in revenue. They have a mess. They're stuck with paper. They're stuck with, you know, manual processes of sticky notes, walking around the office trying to find out whether they should pay a bill or collect on invoice. And that takes them time from doing what they really want to be doing, which is building a business. Like I started this business because I actually like finance and accounting, but most people, if you think about any, any company on Main Street USA, they're not trying to get in for accounting, get in because they have a passion and a mission. So we help the SMBs get back to that. Given the fact, I mean, I just think about in my own life, I have landscapers, my daughter's preschool. I mean, I could just go on down the list with all the paper copies I'm yeah. still getting in the mail and having to pay. Um, why do you think that small and medium businesses have been so slow to adopt some of this new technology and move to the cloud, move to software options? So, it, you know, one of the things I learned at the dinner table, and I like to fondly call it the dinner table MBA, was that cash is king, stretch out the payables and pull in the receivables. So as a consumer, you're not going to not pay your daycare provider, right? If they need money, you're going to pay them, right? But as a business, everybody knows that you're going to stretch out certain bills and you're going to actually have to nag some people to pay you. So what that means is there's a process. There's a, lot, a manual process that businesses are doing. And what we do is we actually take that digital world and bring that to the paper process. Paper is a great process mechanism. It lets everybody do what they want. But if you don't automate the process, then you don't get a chance to get the payment. So they have been slow for the payment because the process was not automated. And we've automated that process, financial people, operations. People might not realize this is a 13-year-old company, yeah. right? And it strikes me, you're describing it the same way today that you did in videos 12 years ago that I saw when, when the company was new. Interesting, too, you sold your previous company to Intuit yes. about 10 years ago. Yeah. Uh, you're an Intuit veteran. you got another executive who's an Intuit veteran. Somebody on your board is an Intuit veteran. You say in your S1, our business depends in part on our relationship with Intuit. How much do investors worry about that? Is that relationship great? Might they compete with you? You know, what we focus on is how do we help all of our partners? We've got great partners from four of the top 10 financial institutions. Uh, the AICPA is a partnership. And all of those partnerships, like, these are the people that SMBs, small and mid-sized businesses, that's who they trust. And if they trust us to be able to help them deliver service to their customers, then that's the thing I'm going to focus on, because that's what I want. Same story for 13 years. One of the things I know that entrepreneurship means is that you have to have the perfect balance of patience and impatience. And so the impatience is, hey, I'm going to go do something different to make a difference, because I know the technology is there to really change people's lives. But then you have to be patient, because you have to have the technology develop more. You have to have the market develop more. So our partnership with Intuit is a really important partnership. We love the partnership. We've been one of their first App Store partners from 10 years ago when they opened up the App Store, and it's been a great partnership. So payments processing seems to be a particularly big area, at least from an investor standpoint. How are you thinking about growth there, especially given the fact that it has been such a, I guess, such a key area of growth for some of the other companies in this industry as well, whether it's Shopify or Coupa? So I think the back to one of the earlier questions, why is it that SMBs haven't adopted the electronic payments. And I, I go back to, because I I'd started the first company, PayCycle, and I was trying to do what dad and granddad and mom and grandma had taught me, which was, hey, you, gotta, you don't have to pay everybody. You need to kind of stretch it out. And that process wasn't working for me. I'd built consumer payment solutions for Intuit. And so I started thinking about it, and it was that process that was hard. And so when we focus on what do we need to do, it's always about automating that process. And you know, I think you know, we're excited about the opportunity. And the payment piece, is where we get to at the end, right? The payment, everybody thought, okay, you just can go electronic. And we had opportunities at Intuit when I was there. We thought, just flip a switch and people go electronic. That's not what happened, right? Because there was a manual process up front. And so that's what we've been busy working hard for 13 years to build. Finally, you know, I don't need to tell you, uh, we ask new IPOs about the balance between growth and profitability, because yeah. that's kind of flipped in the middle of the year. Has, yeah. it, has it changed for you? You know, my focus has always been the size of the market. So 81,000 businesses using our platform today. There's 6 million businesses across the country that need help. 
And so if I have an opportunity to drive more adoption, because I know when you talk to our customers, when they actually get on the platform, they tell you how much time it saves. They tell you they make better decisions. Hmm. If that's true, then I want to serve everybody. That's what makes me happy. I'm happy when I get to serve more people and help them have a better life. Did so for us, the focus is going to be on how do we invest and make it, make it grow. Did you consider doing a direct listing? Uh, we did not. Why not? You know, I think the, the opportunity, I've had a lot of investors over two different companies and venture capital investors, getting a chance to have some strong foundational investors in the public markets. You know, today is a great day. There's going to be days, whatever happens, it's going to be different. And having those people that I've had a chance to meet, and they can look me eye to eye, and they get to know who we are and my story, that actually means a lot to me. And I, I, I'm excited about the retail side, and I'm excited for those people to come in. But I know that there are some people that will take more time to really understand the business and the management team.